Looking to end their current slide, the SFU football team welcomes Humboldt State to Terry Fox Field in their second meeting of the year. SFU taking the victory in that contest back in early September. The clan get off to a strong start as the ball is handed off to Chris Tolbert and he finds the seam, taking it 14 yards and putting the clan in striking distance early. Tolbert gets the ball again, ending a 12-play, 74-yard drive with a touchdown. SFU up 7-0. Moving into the second quarter, SFU still on the attack. Stanford hooks up with his main man, Durant, in the end zone, putting the clan up 17-0. On the next SFU drive, Stanford this time finds local senior Tori Corrado wide open, and he makes the back shoulder catch to put the clan up 24-0 going into the half. The Lumberjacks find some momentum as Mintz hooks up with Crevice as he breaks a few tackles and takes it 13 yards for the Major, cutting the lead to just 14. Mintz would pass for 340 yards on the night as well as Crevice going 179 strong. Now into the fourth, Humboldt looks to keep the momentum as the ball is handed off to Johnson and he finds space on the outside for the touchdown, cutting the lead to just 7. On the ensuing kickoff, the ball is taken by Corrado on the 1 yard line. And he looks to pull the reverse, but he fools both myself and Humboldt, finding wide open field on the right side. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He takes it 99 yards untouched for his second touchdown of the night. What an amazing play by the senior. Adding another major late in the game, the clan take their first home victory of the season by a score of 38-17. to Big stories in the game came from Tolbert and Corrado, each going for 150 yards total, Stanford tossing for a solid 220 yards, as well as Casey Chin collecting 10 tackles and 2.5 and sacks in the game. I was able to catch up with Chin and Corrado afterwards to get their thoughts on both sides of the ball. When we went down to Azusa, we had a lead, pretty much a similar kind of deal, and we let it slip away, and I know a lot of guys, especially the seniors, you know, that they took that to heart, and you know, it's not, you never want to lose a game that you're up and you're killing a team, and we knew that today was the same kind of problem, same kind of deal, so we had to make sure that we didn't make the same mistake twice. And honestly, it, those guys, they, they, you know, we all love each other and we all play for each other. I mean, whether they say they play for me or whether I say I play for them, at the end of the day, we're all playing for each other, and that's the most important part. Well, we were just executing. I mean, our coach put us in a position where, where we, it was easy for us to make plays, and luckily we made those plays, and it came down to practice. You just got to practice hard, and when, it, when it's time to run the plays in, in the game, you just got to do like you did in practice, right? Even with a win like this, uh, what can you see that you can pick apart and that you're going to be working in practice? Well, I mean, Humboldt's a good football team. Uh, their record doesn't show how good of a football team they actually are. They had a bunch of tight games. Even this game was pretty close. They're, they're a good football team, and the fact that we, we played well, even even c coming out with a lull in the third quarter really shows that we just got to keep doing what we're doing, work hard for another week, and then play again against Azusa.